Is this your ship? Whoa. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, She's nerding out. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. She's coming with me. I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Well, that's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? She gets crazy eyes when talking engines, dude. Absolutely, and I love her for it. She's coming with. I'm glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. This is that chick from Firefly? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> you mean the the one with the hair? I know the one. Aloy comes through in a lot of these lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pavardi just had an orgasm. <laughs> I mean, do you blame her? You know, it's a ship. It's a real spaceship. Kaylee, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Oh my god, look who's here. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Oh god, here we go. Okay, what's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Sedona, what's up? <laughs> you can't take this guy from me. That intro was quite good, I'm, I gotta say. I gotta say. I haven't watched it in ages either, so I don't remember the names. Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They whoa. Had a pure whoa, 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 whoa. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. Whoa. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I There are two people in chat that haven't watched Firefly. I feel like this is one of those rare opportunities for me to tell you to go do something else other than watching my stream. Firefly is amazing, man. It is probably one of the best shows I've ever watched. You should also watch the Serenity movie that came after it. You must watch Firefly. It's Nathan Fillion, and it's Nathan Fillion's best work. He's really good in Firefly. It's a really good show. Oh my god. But find it. Or watch at it. At least find out why I lacked it. Okay. I didn't hear anything you just said. I don't care. Uh, weren't they pr proud when you became a vicar at least? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige, but that was not me. Whoa, you've seen Serenity, but not Firefly. I mean, that's interesting. Like, it's kind of... That should be enough to get you to watch Firefly then, because Serenity was pretty good. What's this plan you keep talking about? The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that oh my God, no. and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, oh or no. in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness, a natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? 
The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. If you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. Hmm. Holy crap, it just keeps getting more. Listen, is there a new Dune series coming out? What? Hello? Okay, thanks, Estro. His parents were super religious, but he wasn't the way they were, so he left. Got it. A new movie. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Seems quite trusting of you to just sign on without knowing anything about me. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope. And you were my only hope of getting it translated. Mm. What about you? What's your story? Oh, no. Oh, let's be honest with him and see what he says. I was a colonist on the Hope. A scientist named Wells saved me. And how did he do that? Stole my body from the Hope at the edge of the colony and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Wow, he didn't shoot it down immediately. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? Helping him recover more of the chemicals he needs to save the rest of the colonists. I'm turning him in. Oh my god. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? I had family on the hope. I had friends on the hope. Dude, I don't know if I have family or friends. It's the right thing to do. A commendable attitude. Wow. I like this guy. Okay. Tell me again about that book we picked up that's in French. Vakonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought. Mm. So the book is banned in this colony. This colony. We're about to leave, I think. The, what? Can we find someone who speaks French in this colony? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, uh, it would be him. I wasn't meant to speak to him before I landed. Good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. Oh my god. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra Oh my two. god. Great place to pick up a ride. I don't know what that means. Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily Spoiling things. system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How is that a simple vicar happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Hold on, is Jason Momoa in Dune? And Bautista? Very interesting. You've never even heard of Dune, Oddful? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I, I played the games and I, and I watched the movies. Well, uh, you know, I didn't read it. No, no, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I loved Dune, man. It was so good. 
Well, I mean, back then it was good for back then. I guess nowadays it might not hold up, so I'm glad they're remaking it. How will it help us track down your scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's mm. off-world destination. Smart. Sounds good, let's go. Thank you, Captain. Okay, I didn't finish talking to him, but screw it. I really don't want to talk more. No, wait. I think you did the rightest thing you could send the power back to The rightest thing. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. Dune is as thick as treacle. It's a hard read. Even It gets harder as you go on. Really? Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't read it then. All right, let's do this. Finally, it's time. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Thanks, man. What can I do for you, Captain? I got the thing. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Not at all. Oh, yes. I mean, yes. Uh, no, can you walk me through it? Step one, pick up your power regulator. <coughs> Step two, approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step three, insert power regulator. Step four, celebrate. <laughs> our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay. Nice. The ladders. Nice. Let's do it. Where are my quarters? I want to see the captain's quarters. Oh, damn. Now we can regulate the power. Oh, hello. Yeah, huh? What? Hey? What? She's... How did she... Oh, she's still my... Co oh. Oh. Ticket to anywhere. Achievement unlocked. Get your very own ship. I did it. You're fast. I shouldn't have taken that. I regret everything. Okay. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed it. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. What? What? Let's go! What? Go! Hey, Kiak. Finally. What are those little flap things at the back? It's like it's got oars sticking out of it. What a janky ship, man. I love it. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. A communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh, he's Facebook friend in me. Okay, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly <laughs> normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Sick.
Why do I need a nav key? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Oh. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Mm -hmm. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkilly. I'm down. Skeleton, what's up, man? Yeah, the game seems great. Kiak's just Kiak. Ignore him. Or don't. Or don't. Yeah, Dishonored's great. I mean, multiple sequels? No, there's one sequel. Uh, but there's a bunch of DLC. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. Really? I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. What? Do you want to explain what it is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic oh. that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. I don't want to disguise my Very character. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Uh, biometric information uh, on standard identity cartridges. Okay. It has limitations? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best Why do I need it? In moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Oh, okay. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. What the if hell is this? Attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Couldn't I just steal a uniform or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Oh. How does it sweeten your breath? Science, that's how. <laughs> Oh my god. People will fall for it? Seems far-fetched. <laughs> the beauty is they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Dude, skeleton, nice. That sounds like a busy day, man. Enjoy. Lumen hasn't stopped eating tonight. I can't help it, man. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stella good Bay. stuff. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart... Please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Okay, I want to go to my captain's quarters first. Can I do that? What? Adelaine's deserters dreamed of an independent life without board oversight. You taught them an important lesson. Never dream. What the shit? That's not how I left it. But, okay. I mean, I feel like that's not how I left it. Holographic Shroud. Projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you uh, access to restricted areas, provides you with a correct ID cartridge for that area. 
Receiver is off limit. Unauthorized personnel. Otherwise, okay. Is that just a, like a quest item, basically, that they'll use automatically or something? Bin. Transfer. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to sell this shit. I don't know why I'm keeping it. I'll keep this one for one of my other companions if one of them needs it. I'll come and fetch it, obviously, if there's a reason to. Uh, but, like, I don't I don't know why I'm keeping these. Like, what is this even? Reed killed himself? Oh my god, I forgot to go and check on Reed. I don't know what happened to him, man. We don't know. It's, it's, it, we don't know. So you can't say that. Maybe it, maybe he didn't kill himself. You know, maybe Reed's still alive. Maybe he's happily living off like somewhere in the place that that's nice where people live. You know, maybe he's off living there. And what is this junk? And maybe he's happy, you know. I'll sell the... Well, I'll keep her mechanics overalls. And I'll keep my hibernation suit. The rest of this shit I don't really care about. Hold on. Point is that if you don't want to choose to murder everyone like a psycho in the original game, you have limited use of your powers. Oh, you talking about Dishonored or what are you talking about now? Kiak defeats everyone. You can't have a chat fight with Kiak, okay? Messages for Alex Hawthorne. Oh my god, here we go. From Bedford. Oh, I forgot. Wait, this is from? Wingman's Wingman, Bedford. I forgot to mention my previous message, silly me. I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of steel. Uh, it's not exactly board approved, so don't go showing it around your spacer buddies. I hope it'll amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely intentional. Winky, winky. Shrink ray. Note to self, remember this later. No better. Ada, remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes. I mean continually. No, Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask the <laughs> ask that? Back to my point. I saw in actuality with my own two eyes or a, a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells Lab just sitting there for the taking. If the grey hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe or if I had asked a smidgen more nicely, he called it a shrink ray, but wouldn't let me test that claim after I lost my temper. He said it was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I heard rumors of fantastic weapons like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge, but I figured they were just stories. To be honest, laying eyes on Wells' shrink ray First hand is enough to make a fella wonder if there's more to the rumors. More to be had. Okay. Hammer power. Last time I got sloshed, I mean, I was in Biden at the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Look, Udom was really free with the drinks. Oh, it's th oh God, Udom, Udom is the barkeep. He seems to seems like an okay fellow. I got sh I, I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two moddits yammering about a mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony like none of us have ever heard. But here's the good part. The moddits said the mad scientist kept yelling about hammer power or something similar. A strange weapon with a power with special power that created a crazy lab coat. Sure fits the bull. 
Wait, created by a crazy lab coat. Okay. Uh, it could be another one of those weapons inspired by Wells. Captain Snow's three black market leads. Why? Why? Why won't Wells just give me the shrink ray? Blast him to the depths of the labyrinth on Tartarus. And back. Let the record show I did apologize for shouting him down five times. But, architect be damned, it's just sitting there, neglected and gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or uh, breaking expensive equipment when he said it wasn't ready yet. And that even if it were, he couldn't entrust someone like me. What does that even mean? I ask. That I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd use it to wipe out the good, hardworking folk of the colony? Like some sort of moral, uh, moralist psycho? I'd admit to maintaining some questionable associates, but I follow a strict code of me, myself, and mine. What's not to respect in that? Exactly. Now I have to wait until Wells forgets, or thinks he's misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I've been tracking down additional rumors pertaining to uh, others of these, other of these science weapons throughout Halcyon. If gossip is true, my next step will be to check on the black market merchants on the Groundbreaker. Okay. Phineas secret weapon, science weapon on Groundbreaker. Got it, got it. That's a lot of th that's a lot of reading. Chat going crazy while Lumen reads. <sighs> Chat's fine. Chat's fine. Okay. So, what the what? Hello. There's no response from the auto mechanic of the unit. Serial number, agent's chassis. It is Sam. Ask Ada about Sam. Okay, he looks beefy. Stern older man with warm eyes. This looks like her room, doesn't it? She's got a plant. Book is heavily dog-eared with doodles in the margins. I just, I don't need to steal her shit. Okay. This is not a petunia. A petunia. It's petunia the plant. Petunia the plant is not a petunia. Okay, so she named everything. Banged up toolbox. Full of modified tools with unique mechanical usages. Digging around this box would be an easy way to lose a finger to a sawtooth blade. Abigail. First wrench dad ever got me. Been a friend ever since. Wow. This is great. I'm snooping. I can even sleep in her bed if I'd like. Let's see what the vicar's room looks like. Oh my god. Figures. Index of banned literature. Various uh, qualifying considerations. Part 2, principal rules of restrictive management. Part 3, morals and maxims banned literature. Uh, part 4, proof of the grand architect predestination. Part 5, Consequences, the Mind and the Will of Man when led astray. Part 6, Official List of Banned Titles. Part 7, Prerequisites for Advancing the Investigation out in and Penalizing of Offenders. Doctrinal Studies, 539 of Equity and Equations. This guy is so oof, man. This guy's boring. This guy's boring. These textbooks have been out of print for almost half a century. The margins are filled with scribbled notes, and many passages have been underlined. Some pages have come loose glued. Journal of Maximilian de Soto, Volume 1. Oh, that's him. Impossible to put down. Art of Science of Tossball. Impossible to put down. Scientific endorsement has been proved. Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Signed by Seymour Whitlock. Who then held the record most of his game. Tossball trading cards in mint condition. One of these cards represent players from the Hephaestus Hammers and Tabakas. Okay. Screw it. I don't want to talk to this guy right now. Let's get out of here. Whose room is this? Old Saber. What doesn't kill you gives you <laughs> gives you tetanus. <laughs> I found that. I found that back on the place. I, I, I didn't know it would come into that room. the hell okay this was cool had a look around our ship let's go <laughs> what 
What is this? Oh. It's the front door. Welcome back, Captain. Tell me about Captain Sam. Be of assistance. Sam. The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago. I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. Mm. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Oh. I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. It's been scientifically proven that those with more birthdays live longer. Okay, uh, play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. She looks so it's smug. Not <laughs> That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Oh, I see. That's enough for now. Hey, M82, what up? This is a nice RPG, man. This is a really nice RPG. It's kind of fun. Fan art win. Fan art soon, hopefully. I'm sure it's already exist. It, it probably it's, it's out there. As it's you out wish, there. Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Got a minute to talk. I'd like to learn more about the colony. What? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on A Lost Hope? I don't think he knows what we're talking about. Listen, I know what you're talking about, and it exists. This is the internet we're talking about. I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. What might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Ah, oh, Wow. She knows just what to say. What about your last Captain? Do you miss him? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. Oh, God. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Really? Yeah, she's gonna backstab us? I don't know, man. I don't know. She still seems to- look, she looks sad now that I asked about the previous captain. Why is your shipboard AI Miss Marvel? It does look like Miss Marvel, doesn't it? I just realized that now. I didn't realize you were talking about Suck X Raxa. I, I thought you were talking about fan art of her. Okay. 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 Have there been other captains of the ship? You mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Oh my yes, god. he was. How can I be of assistance? Learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? What? Ah, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. Holy crap, we're gonna be here all night. There is a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? <laughs> Make it so! No, 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 don't do it. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. <laughs> Make it so. We do not have any laser weapons. 
Hmm, why would landing be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas B. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. Hmm. Okay, ask about something else. What do you know about Phineas? There is a bounty on his head. One with a mo No, no, no. Oh, make it so. I shall happily comply with your order. Just as soon as we have a laser weapon system. Yep, she's doing smug again. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? We are clear to dock with the groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. God. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. Dude, there's so much talking. It's insane. Can you give me the spiel on the Groundbreaker? Wow, that's actually a line? The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. Okay. The city ship hosts... Many of oh God! That was an accident. office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. Ruins start over. Not happening. Uh, you can take care of that, right? I can. Yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Oh, and do it without the lip. Great, you thanks. You are more than welcome, Captain. I want to ask about somewhere else. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Where in Terra 2? Oh. What? No. Of course. I don't want to hear about that. Colony, would you like to discuss? Where in Monarch? What? Oh my god. Ah, Monarch, the armpit of the Halcyon system. <laughs> Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is if you don't count armpit. satellite smugglers port at Fallbrook. Why is Monarch being blockaded? I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness and a lawless land with no corporate presence. You may wish to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. Its sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband. And before you ask, I don't know the coordinates, so I can't dock us there. I've been owning everything I've been fighting reduced silver. I'm not scared of the difficulty, that's for sure. I just don't want to leave anything untalked, you know? Of course. What but I, I feel like it, at, at, like at, a, at a certain point, at a certain point, it's better How can I be of left untalked. I'm done. Oh my god, yes. Oh, see, I got a level from that. I got a level from that. Let's go. Wait. Points, then let's go. You see, it was worth it. I got points for talking. Dude, you get points for talking, it's worth it. Okay, we stop it at 50 for now. Now you have to specialize. Look, now I can't spend blanket points. Oof. Okay. Let's go for... Our medical's on 20. I think that's enough. Ah, uh, okay. Stealth or dialogue. Hmm... There we go. Cool. Here we go, here we go, here we go! What is this for a shitty map? Hello? Phineas's lab? Can we go there? We can go to Scylla? Wait, where do we go? Oh, Groundbreaker. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh no.